Hello, this is Bren Antrim, and I'm a librarian here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a video tour of the Health Source database. From the college website, click on Menu, click on the plus sign next to Student Support, and scroll down to Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once you're there, if you have a question, you're not sure where to begin, you can ask us, ask a librarian, at any time. This is 24-7 Research Assistance. If you have a topic in mind, say for example I'm in an early childhood education class and I want to do an essay on children with autism or on the autism spectrum disorder. I can go down here and I can click on databases. Before we click on that, notice that Ask a Librarian is also available here. In the databases, it is broken down to a listing of everything we subscribe to, alphabetically by title, with a short description of what's in each database. A listing of databases that are primarily ebooks, and a listing by discipline. Since I'm looking for a health topic, I will head into Health Sciences Resources. The first database listed is actually for our nursing students, so it might be a little more scientific than, I'm what, than what I'm looking for as an ECE student looking to write an, a general essay. So instead, I'll head down into Health Source, which is the consumer edition and is intended for the general audience. If you have not let logged in, you log in exactly as you would with Canvas, and you have to log in to access the databases. Once the server catches up. <laughs> This interface may look very familiar to you because it's published by EBSCO, who publishes many of our databases, but this has a specific set of journals, periodicals, newspapers that is about health itself. So, if I type in autism, it says, do you want autism spectrum disorder? And I say, yeah, that's a good one. And then I add a second one that says children, because I'm specifically interested in how this disorder affects children. I make sure down here in the page that it's limited to full text so I get the actual article and not just information about the article, and I search that out. And I get 99 results. Of those, here along the side, it will tell me if this is an academic journal, if it is a periodical which is not academic, if it is a news article, etc. When I look over here on the left-hand side, I can further limit it. I can say, I really only want scholarly journals. Most of these will be. And also, I want maybe the last five years. I don't want to go all the way back to 2013. So I can use the slider bar to get myself the last five years. And that takes it down to only 13. So if I take a look at this, I take a look at some of my results. Some of them are research studies. Ooh, this looks very interesting. Motor skill assessment. Motor skill assessment would be very useful to me as an early childhood education scholar. And this is a case study. It is in Physical Educator. It's a couple of years old, which is fine with a scholarly journal because it takes a little time for the research to be gathered, um, peer reviewed, and published. It's 16 pages long, and I'm going to check this out. When I click on the title, it gives me all the information that I need for my citation. It gives me some subjects, and oh, here's a bonus. These subjects are assigned by librarians to these particular um, titles, and if you find a subject that is your topic, click on it, because that will gather everything in the database specifically on your topic. That takes me down to nine, but every one of them is about children, and some of them are not scholarly, some of them are. Okay. So I might take a look at hmm, the one that I had already. I might take a look at an air pollution and how that affects um, children when they're being developed in the womb. But I'll go back to the one that I had just so I can show you how it works. The abstract is the author supplied summary of what is in this article. So you don't have to read the whole article to decide if it might be useful or not. If you read the abstract and it looks good, you can 
add it to your Google Drive, add it to a folder, print it, email it, or save it. I tend to email as I go. The actual article is attached over here in a PDF full text, and you have the same options from that PDF. You can also get help with your citation. So if I'm in an ECE class, we might be using the APA edition of citation, and it gives me that. If I were in an English class, we might be using the MLA edition, so I would try that format. Whichever one you use, make sure that you fix it based on the information that your instructor gives you, because sometimes the database makes small errors and you want to make sure that you get full credit for your citations. If I'm going to email this to myself, I tell it where to send it, I give it some kind of a subject, do not send it in plain text. Leave the PDF to be sent as a separate attachment and ask for help with your citation. It is alphabetical by format, so you will want to make sure that you select the correct citations format so you don't end up with a Brazilian citation, which is not applicable because we're not in Brazil. Then send it off and it will confirm that you have gotten it. It may take a few minutes to actually show up. Once you do that, you can go back to your result list and find another article. If you have a question while you're having this search, you can go over here and chat with a librarian while you're still in your search so you don't lose your search. I wish you the best with your research. Be well.